We talk football and current events. Sitting and chatting with the very best guest. We're two Scottish boys and we're loving death. So if you like witty banter, check the former number one podcast on iTunes. Sitting and chatting. Hello and welcome back to the Sitting and Chatting podcast. I'm Will White. I'm Jim Allen. I'm Rachel McLennan. Perfect first time. Thanks for joining, Rachel. Appreciate it. It's been a, it's been a while. It was hard. It's <laughs> hard. Wee, well, you want a wee story about what happened today, obviously. Oh, right. Aye. Yeah. oh you'd, you think you were going to get away with it's no... Yeah, I know. Uh, it was always going to happen. About, I don't even know when it was. It was like one o'clock, half one. Messages me. And I goes, are you ready? Are you ready for the night? I may have said other things, but we can't talk about that. But I say, is he ready for the night? And then she goes, aye. And then she messaged me 10 minutes later and goes, no, because Bradley's not willing to date now. And I goes, what? Like, what do you mean Bradley's not willing to date? So I went back and I showed her the chat where Bradley said he was ready to date and he was willing to date. Mm-hmm. So there was a uh, poor Liam on the hunt for somebody else. He finds somebody else. Um... And then we had to, to we had to turn the gun down again because somebody <laughs> changed their mind. Oh my god, I feel bad for the other person now. Nah, it's fine. They understand. They were actually happy because they were worried about coming back on because it's been a while. Oh, they've been on it before. Yeah, uh, we occasionally get returning guests when people bail out last minute. I managed to bully friends into coming back on. <laughs> I mean, yeah. sorry, they want to come back on. They love this. This is their favourite <laughs> time of the year. Uh, this Why this is an occasion. Wait, what? Why did you start doing the podcast? Oh, Jesus, we're getting hit with the heavy questions. Shit, like. man, why are we getting questions? <laughs> Damn, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> yeah, I returned it. Is this, how it, is this yeah. how it feels now to get somebody asked a question? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, why did Liam, you can correct, Liam, you can correct me if I'm wrong here, but it started off as a, one of your uni or college projects, wasn't it? No, I, well, um, no, not entirely. So, like, in, I done media uh, college in uni, and um, my teachers, because I really struggled to learn via reading, because uh, mm-hmm. I've got dyslexia, they always sort of suggested to me, like, studying podcasts and that, and it was a format I really enjoyed, and I began mm-hmm. to do more of in college. And they were like, oh, you might actually be very good at doing something like this. And I thought about it, and I was like, hmm, could potentially. And then got in contact with Jamie because he was pretty much the only one I thought that would be able to do well with this app yeah. and thankfully accepted. Mm-hmm. How well, long have that? Uh, it'll be four years in July now that we've been doing it. And uh, we're seasoned beer pros at this. Uh, beer thing. <laughs> I, I've um, literally never even like watched a podcast before this. <gasps> I know. God, in so- any podcast though? No, I don't think so. The first one I watched was Dylan's because me and Bradley watched it before he done it. <laughs> oh right so, but that was the first ever podcast you've listened to so you've not listened to any other podcast yeah I don't think so that's quite a good privilege to be fair then if we're the first yeah, ever one that you've yeah, yeah. Let's you yeah let's uh, tell me you've listened to Lowe's now eh? yeah. yeah like two yeah so, that's, that's good enough <laughs> uh, I mean but yeah uh, I suppose it's accepted <laughs> it's better than some of our mates Jamie don't lie so I mean uh, that's true <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, but to be fair though, Dylan's listening to one live. So. Oh yeah, didn't he do best? <laughs> yeah, and it's the worst audio we've ever had for any of them. So we're uh, all going to get him back again. He was also, uh, to be fair, he was doing us a favour. Yeah, I know. Um, he done a good job. But, each, you know. each year he comes on as a as a yearly awards. Goal. Yeah, he, he's, uh, he's the third member whenever Christmas comes along. Oh, so. what? I didn't even realise he was on for a certain time. Yeah, I don't, think we watched it all. I don't think we watched it all. I can't even remember now. Ah, I wouldn't either. Was it the first one you listened to? Or was it just it? In fact, how many has he been in? Two or three? Honestly, uh, not three now? Was it three okay. or two? We probably watched the most recent one. Ah, um, I suppose that would make sense. What did, what did Bradley say? What was his overall thoughts after he'd done it? Um, no, I think he quite liked it. He said it was like really interview. <laughs> yeah, that's probably aye. fair. Aye. Yeah. No, I, I don't think it was. I think, I think he's full of shite. Yeah, I quite like I think, that. I think it was from my point of view, just because I don't know him that well, though. I think that's yeah. why it probably came across like that. Yeah, I don't mind it like that. No, I, I, but he's a weird cunt in, in general, so <laughs> yeah, exactly. doesn't, it doesn't really help when he's 
Every single Nick. episode after he's been on, you have bullied that poor boy at some point afterwards. Listen, <laughs> listen, see when you make my more clean, you're sick at my sink. He deserves a bullying. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> bring that one up before. I think he personally told me no. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Rachel, you've heard about that, though, eh? Yeah. Aye. Fuck him. So he deserves all the hate he gets. Mm. He's a bastard. <laughs> Anyway, we'll get back onto you know the actual guest Rachel now who'll stop bullying her boyfriend for once. Um, yeah. Rachel, start with you. Where we start with everyone? What's your first memory? Um, this is so random, but it's like where I used to live. It was like really close to my granny's house. So one day, like you know, like a doll's pram, like just a wee one. I had one of those, so I just like took it over to hers, and then I got a bowl of porridge and I put it in my pram and just took it home. And I was like going down hills and everything, trying to keep the porridge balanced. And I don't actually remember if I ever got it home, but I was really young, and that's the first thing I can remember think of. So your yeah, win was porridge. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I was like trying to keep the porridge balanced, like just in a bowl. So I'm assuming I didn't get it home in one piece, but... They could afford the pram, but they couldn't get the doll. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Where was the doll? Yeah, I have no idea why I even remember that, and I can't remember how old I was, but I must have been so young. Speaking of which, then, right, so see when you say where you used to live, go and clarify where it actually is. Right, so do you know where Sky is? Yeah. Right, so it's like Sky, there's like sky and then there's a tiny island and then it's the mainland so the tiny island in between is called Razi and that's where I'm from Razi yeah. Razi yeah. yeah. exactly no one has heard of it like when I come down here I've explained it to every single person I've met like no one has heard of it Aye, everybody just thinks they're Rossi oh yeah. yeah that's what I thought you said to yeah. me when you were explaining I mean that's what I thought it was yeah. okay, like, like, I knew it wasn't Rossi but I was like it sounds similar but I didn't know like what it was called, and I could never ask it like searching it, so I was like, Yeah, no, oh, so how big is the island? Then it's only like 15 miles long. Oh, Jesus, how um, long did you live there for? 17 years. Jesus, so what they have like proper schools and stuff on it, then only a primary school, like the high school's on Sky. Oh, wait, so you had to get like a boat every day to like go to high school, sort of thing. Yeah, I got a boat, then a bus. That's mental, like. <laughs> just to go everyone to thinks, school. Everyone thinks that's mental, but I actually don't, like, because I'm so used to, like, I grew up getting the ferry everywhere, so that's just it's pretty normal. But everyone, No, that's no normal. But that's <laughs> nuts. I think it, it's like, it was literally 25 minutes, like, it wasn't long. Fuck that. Do you know how long to go to school? <laughs> <laughs> I woke up at five, pa- 5 to 9 and go to school at 9 o'clock. That was my routine. <laughs> No, but see that it sounds like I'd get up mad early, but we all, we left at quarter to eight, which is quite normal from where I live. Yeah. I wasn't even awake at that time. <laughs> the whole of Sky go to one school, so everyone is like. Oh, there's just one school on the whole island. Yeah, for on Sky, there's only one school, so like one high school, so everyone from Razi and Sky goes to the one high school on Sky. Is it like a big one place, or is it? What where we go to school? Oh, yeah, is it Ma- well, when you did go to school, is it massive? No it's, just, no, it's just a tiny town. But then everyone from other towns comes to that one town where the school is. So it's like, I guess it's the main town on Sky, but it's not bigger than anything. Fuck's sake. So you done primary school in Razi, and then you went to high school Yeah. in Sky? Yeah. What sort of size of classrooms did you have then? In primary school? Yeah. Oh, everyone was in the same classroom. <laughs> What the fuck? Yeah, like we our head teacher was our teacher. You know what this explains so much, <laughs> Liam, by the way. I'm not gonna go into detail, but this explains so much. Like the way she's describing her school just explains so much. So when I was in P1, there was like 25 people, but by the time I was leaving school, there was only about 12. Like when I was in P7, I mean. What? Yeah. 12 people. Yeah, in the whole primary school. And now there's only six. <laughs> like the How? You better hope gen- you have mates, otherwise you're fucked to that point, then. <laughs> oh, no, I do. I have, like, my friends on the island and friends on Sky, but the younger generation in Razi is just getting smaller and smaller. Like, I reckon the primary school will, like, shut down in a few years. Mm. It's honestly mad. It's fucking, the whole thing's nuts. It's literally just, like, one classroom, then, the entire building. Yeah. Oh, my God. So how, then, how does it... How many teachers is there? In primary school? Mm-hmm. 
my head, the head teacher was the teacher. The only teacher. Yeah, and it, well, sometimes you had like a substitute teacher if the head teacher was going to be off. So the head teacher literally ran the gaff, taught the gaff, and <laughs> she yeah. was the gaff. Yeah, okay. And then you had like a class assistant sometimes for like people who are, like have line of difficulties and stuff. But other than that, like the head teacher was like the main teacher. What's that joke, man? Running the gaff. Did you realise then at a young age that this was quite different to compare to most other people's like school life, or did you just think it was how everyone sort of experienced school? No, I don't think so. Because like growing up, I've always had friends in Glasgow because like right. they've got like, connections to Razzie and stuff. So like they've always explained what theirs is like, and I've always kind of thought, yeah, their Razzie is fucked. Like, <laughs> right. but not right. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like I always did know it was a bit different, but it's unique. Was high school different? No, it was high school similar to ours. Yeah, well, definitely smaller. There was only like five, six hundred people in our school, whereas I'm pretty sure down here there's more like a thousand. Yeah, we would have know. like probably a thousand. But I mean, that still must have been a massive like change from going to like a class of 12 to 500 folk walking in the halls each day. Yeah, it definitely was like, even classrooms in high school, obviously like 20 people. Yeah. Whereas my whole primary school was less than that. So. How many, so see from your primary school, who, how many of them went to high school with you? Well, I know you yeah, said the whole lot. Others. Oh yeah, two others. So you still, still pals with them now? Yeah. Well, you had to be, didn't you? Because like, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, like what? There's no yeah, other option. You could be friends with like the sheep or the cows or something. <laughs> yeah, like, there's no yeah. other option. Like what the fuck? I know. No, we're, we were friends all throughout high school and we're still friends now. That's, That's good that you're able to keep it. So, um, what was like? What was one thing though that you enjoyed about going from high school compared to like primary school? Just meeting more people and stuff. Yeah. Just was like it not stuff. daunting to you at all, or did you manage to find that quite an easy transition? Yeah, I thought it was quite easy, especially because I knew that like my other friends were going, and I had like older people that I knew that were going, so I thought it was fine. Hmm. How was it for you, Liam? Because obviously, see, with us, like, we, when when I was in primary school, like, and I moved to high school, there was all sorts of schools that, like, came into the, the one high school. Do you know what I mean? We had folk facing minions, both on uh, what, um, like, through in campus, fucking Kenneth and all that shit. Then they go to Wallace, they came to us and stuff. Mm. So it was like, hundreds of cunts, folk you never knew. And then, for me, it was fine, because I, I just spoke to, like, one or two folk, and then that was me. Happy days, but you mixed with a lot more cunts in school than I did. Yeah, I mean, well, pretty much everyone from my primary bar one or two went to it because they're literally the buildings are basically attached side by side. So mm. everyone in my class went up, so that was a good sort of transition. But then also because I lived in Campus Bar and I had a lot of mates, so it was in Campus Bar primary, so oh, yeah. you know, I had like a good mix of different people that I could go between, sort of going yeah. from high school. Uh, we had like 18 primary schools just conjoining and go to the high school. I was like, <laughs> it's because no one wanted to go to any of the other higher schools. I know. I was like, what the fuck? I, mean, what, I remember walking in the first year and it was just like, actual all sorts of cunts here. It's so loud as well. Like when you go into like the hallway for the first time uh, and, that, and like everyone's out there, it's just fucking noise. Uh, fucking noise. stupidly loud, man. Yeah, and then like the canteen and stuff, it's mad. Like our canteen in primary school was literally two tables. <laughs> <laughs> see in your high school right this is actually meaty important see in high school did you just have the mad stall pasta king oh. there was a stall uh, there was a stall called pasta king did you just have that did you no. get like school dinners and all that was that a thing there in, in primary school no in, not in school. high school oh, in high school yeah we had like just a hot section cold section just that I don't know I thought that was oh, quite no pasta like, fucking prison <laughs> what, <laughs> what? That sounds like prison, a hot and a cold, man. We had like pasta king, fucking. Oh, yeah, we got like right? a we got like a subway style thing. By the time we got into like fourth year, it was all oh, class. Yeah. yeah, we had a subway thing though. That was yeah. it in the cold section. Ah right, okay. But no, we, had, like, we had a dedicated stall called pasta king. It was like, a wee tub Ooh. called pasta king, and it was like you put pasta in it, and it was like sauce. I mean, it's like ninety percent water, but it still tasted great. Oh, it was fucking. <laughs> it was dynamite, man. Was it expensive? Nah, well, I mean, probably expensive now as an adult, but as a parent, if you're getting your parents' money for it, it's probably fine. <laughs> yeah. What was it? I think it was like 180 for a tub or something. 
Yeah. So, I mean, what? So what? What? I think expensive for a school price. Nah. Do you know what I think? Show dinners now for like stupid money. They're no like three sixty for a what? I don't know. Three sixty. Wow. Fucking stupid money. Country's gone mad. Aye, it's fucking school dinners are beefy expensive now. That is mad. No, most of our school dinners were pretty minging, to be honest. We never ever. I don't, well, I mean, I never ever really got a school dinner other than pasta king. That's no, so yeah. why I don't. Buy most yeah, yeah, I used to always go down the street, but when I got to fourth year, I just could not be fucked going down the street anymore. So I just ate whatever shite there was. Me so too. in fourth, did you make it all the way to sixth year or did you leave yeah. fourth year? Did yeah, you? I the whole time, yeah. Uh, I'm lucky, Jamie. See, better not. <laughs> just, just don't like on <laughs> Ask her. I think Jamie's the only person we've ever had on the podcast that's not made it to the end of school. Oh, what? <laughs> I was fucking bitted out before before edit. It was like no, no, no. You were you were only bad from like three quarters of the school. You could have used the other quarter. <laughs> ah, big big scully man. I'll never forget it. Home ec comes in. We are taking this call. She either goes. You're either taking this college course or you're getting kicked out. Simple. And I was like, use the college course then. What? Like, what? So you went to college straight after school after fourth year? <laughs> well, I migrated into college because I had no other option. Uh, yeah, was, I mean, and you're yeah. too young to get a job at that point, so you literally had no choice. <laughs> Aye, so I literally had to do college. I'd done like a year and a half of plumbing and, and shit in college. And then. Did you not like that? What? Did you not like doing that? Aye, it was good. Aye, it was different for school, obviously, so it was enjoyable. Um, oh, until he dropped a radiator on his toe. <laughs> That was a fucking W. I uh, done work experience. <laughs> the guy was like that. You want to help get a get this ready? And the bear in mind, this ready is fucking massive. It's for like in the back of uh, uh, lorries. And I'm like, I ain't no bother. He's like, I've got, he had the mad thing that was fucking wheeling it away. And I was like, I don't need that. He was like, nah, I'll be able to just take it off. <laughs> hey, bother, mate. It. There's me, bear in mind, I'm 15 walking up and going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assessing the option in that and I'm like sounds like a yeah. Looney Tune sketch but I'm fucking doing this so I fucking <laughs> fucking then it just and it comes in it goes and I goes oh fuck so I grab it like that and then it slides after the, the bit of wood and it hits my foot and my fucking ankle goes there and it's there and I'm like you bastard so I'll back up put it back on and I had to go home that day fucking so angry. was that the end of that no, it was I, the end of his oh, no, long it career. It was end of, no, I just, I, I, I didn't stock intakes for them. Um, and then I went in at actual plumbing after that. No, and here you are, doing... I know. I know. No, I forget he, it's a podcast, though, is so. Oh, yeah, full-time podcast, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, podcast. Yeah, once but a week, I, it's a very grueling job. Yeah, that's what I done. What, um, what exams did you sit in school? Um... Not many, but that five's like maths, English, French, home ec, business, and then higher English and business. Did you do well in school? No, they were the only ones I passed. I did do some more exams than that. You passed maths? maths. Not five. High maths, I'd done it for two years. I wasn't allowed to do the exam both years. I was that bad that I was honestly horrific at maths. I can get that. I can get that. Yeah, now I'm doing accounting. Like, what? I I don't know how. Oh, yeah, I'm not cutting numbers, by the way. Mental maths, I just can't do like high maths, like circles and that. I'm so good at mental circles maths. Circles and that, that like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, to be fair, who really needs Pythagoras these days? Exactly, that's what I think. But yeah, I could literally do my mental maths, and that was it. But you don't get graded on that, so <laughs> unfortunately, your maths is not. pathetic. So I mean, I don't know how. No, um, it's, oh it my is. god. And your English is poor as well. No, I'm not going to say it. No, I'm actually when we were doing this, we hang with the betting, right? And I was uh, so we put this bet on. I was like, we put this bet on, right? It brings back thirteen quid, right? And then we were up at a fiver on, so I was like, it's an eight quid profit. Yeah. She was, how is it an eight quid profit? And she sat there and argued, fuck it, like she argued, like fuck with me. She was like, no, we're making a fiver, and I was like, what? no, no, we're no. Like, what no, the fuck you were you making three pounds because like, oh, eight... you were like, we're making three pounds, and I was like, what? So no, it was Bradley confused me because he never mentioned the thirteen pounds. So I thought it was you were putting fiver on and getting eight pounds back. 
Don't let her try and justify it. She's a fucking. Oh, I won't. She's a fucking spin. We better hope your employers don't see us, Rachel, because yes. if they're watching, I don't think you'll have a job come Monday. And English is poor as well, but I'll I'll let that slide. What? Is it? Your English is poor, but the the, the, the mass was shocking. How is my English poor? Ah, it's poor. It's I'll even with the guests. What is it my accent? you saying? Oh no, your accent's boofing. We all know that, but it's it's no no your accent. Your actual English tightening, shocking. Oh my god. Wait, I actually do have an important question though that I did come speaking about accents that I brought with Jamie last night. Oh, good, How good. do you say oven? Oven. Right, okay, you say it fine, that's okay. Just wanted to check. Cause... Aye, but <laughs> wait, so wait. what's another one for people? Um, like if there's a single. Oh, don't you. Just say it. <laughs> what? Say it again. Person. <laughs> And then Jamie will be like, it's a person. A person. A person. A person. A person. Well, that's what I mean. It's just like, it's just, it's person. It's not person. A person. It's just not a person. I need to try and figure out a way to title the podcast with the word person in it now, then. <laughs> I know, I don't see the problem with me saying it. And like, um, those like white things you should wear on a necklace, Bradley takes the piss out of me. I should just say it, what is it? Pearl. <laughs> a, a pearl, is it? Are you like a pearl? <laughs> pearl. That's a pearl. pearl. A pearl doesn't even say what it is. Shut up. See, this is what I mean by our English lead. Like, just move on. Oh, honestly, what the fuck? It's a pearl. <laughs> just fuck off. Right, yeah, no, nah, we'll move on from this before there's too much slander to go. There's going to be an argument, so I move on, definitely. Uh, just before we, like, go past, so, like, your school life and that, I just wanted to see, so, like, are your parents from Rothy, uh, Rothy and on the island himself, or did um, they move over there? My dad is, but my mum's from Glasgow. Right, okay. And my dad still lives there. Is it just for work that they stay over there for, or did they just want to sort of escape the city life? Oh, I don't know. My dad loves it there, and then I'm assuming my mum moved there to be with him, but then they split up, so right. she obviously moved away. But my dad works there, yeah, he's a postman. <laughs> Must be one of the few jobs available there. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, there's no jobs on the island as well. It's either that or hospitality. Like, that is it. No, just but restaurants. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've got one hotel, which is the restaurant, the pub. <laughs> hotel. Well, great. Sounds like a great day out. You don't have to go anywhere. Everywhere's just in the one place. <laughs> We're honestly spoiled for choice. And then there's a shop, one shop. And there's not even a bin lorry. Like the bin lorry comes over. Bradley thought that was so weird. Well, uh, that you don't even have one on the island. Yeah, nah. I thought that was normal uh, though. That, that must be a good thing though for a certain degree because that means you don't have a tip on the island so there's no going to be all the smell and all that shit. We got no tip or anything like that. <laughs> Why not? It only comes over like every two weeks. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I think everyone gets their bin collected. I was going to say that's normal. Yeah. You oh, think I having a bin lorry coming from one island to another is normal but no <laughs> the fact that they come every two weeks. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> You've got a priority or something. What is normal is a bin getting emptied every two weeks. What's no normal is it coming from another fucking island. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. the, um, you will get there, though. <laughs> I, still can't, I still can't get over the fact you need to say, take a ferry to high school. That's still sounds know, that really. yeah. Most kids get the bus or the bar to drive them. You have to sit on the fucking ferry over. I know, That's but it's, it's basically the same amount of time on the ferry and the bus. Like, I didn't think it was that big a deal. No. I mean, it wouldn't be if you lived there all your life. It's just no. weird for someone that's, you know, <laughs> grown up nowhere near the sea before. Yeah, and, like, there's no supermarket on Nazi, so you have to, like, do your shopping on the on Sky. <laughs> oh, my God, so you can't even go to, like... Co- How often does a ferry go back and forth? Every hour. Ah, that's good, I suppose. Until when? when? At what time? Uh, eight till seven. Oh, oh and then on a Sunday, there's only three ferries. Oh Eight man, you're seven. Pu- that Joe walked away, man. What the fuck? <laughs> seven o'clock, that's your curfew, and you're Seven o'clock, back came in your bed. Yeah, and then, well, at, in summer, it's nine o'clock. Do, oh, do yeah, folk man. have like their own boats so they just go between the islands because they can't be arsed waiting for the ferries? Like, very few people have a boat, but yeah, most of the people that have a boat work on the ferry. <laughs> so, like, you're going to be on the ferry anyway. I don't know why you've got the boat. 
first of all, yeah, very, very few people have a boat. So, does your dad drive? Yeah. So, has he always driven? Hence why you managed to get the school back in the day, or did you... Oh, yeah, no, he's always driven, like, since I was born. And so, did he used to take you? Yeah, well, just to the ferry, but, like, it's only, like, a two-minute drive. But obviously, right. at, like, half seven in the morning, you're not wanting to walk. So I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. Oh, Jamie had to roll out his bed and roll down the hill, and that was in there. <laughs> that was literally it. That's what I said. Yeah. And I just need to roll out my bed and roll into the chair, and that's me walking. Some, in some, somehow, in the, somehow in the t- nearly 10 years that you've left school, you managed to have to travel less. Less time. That's, that's your outstanding experience. It's been 10 years when you say that, by the way. That is mental. Yeah, yeah. Just to get to the school, you have to walk about 10 miles when you say that, by the way. That is mental. Yeah. I thought, uh, honestly, no, I mean, I'm charged. Uh, it'll be uh, tw- it'll be eight years that you left, seven years, eight, eight or seven years since you've left. I th- honestly, I said I'd be dead by that time. That's mental. <laughs> like when I was in school, I said I'll easily be dead five, five years after school. I find that quite strange that you think like that because you know you're not a drug user, you're not a heavy drinker, or anything <laughs> no, like that, you know. <laughs> just, I didn't, I didn't see any sort of thing come. Yeah. And then I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to be dead. It's well, there like, you go then. You've proved everyone wrong, Jamie. I prove myself wrong. Yeah. Now you're the host of the most successful podcast in the world. I know. And now I'm, here to, I'm here to tell the story. Positive mindset. Here to tell the story. Right. Now, see, you're in Glasgow now, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Talk to us. How did you get out of Glasgow? Why did that become a thing? I've all, I don't even know, I've always wanted to live in Glasgow. Like, Glasgow's always been so boring to me. Like, I always wanted to, like... But you've got some... so much on offer. Yeah. Well, I know, and then now it's lockdown, but I'm in second year now, so first year, obviously, I had so much more to do. But Glasgow is just so much more fun than Glasgow, so that was kind of why I moved. So your first year of college? Yeah, and I was 17, though, so I could hardly go out, apart from times where I could get ID. Right, okay. So you'd never first... go out illegally, though, would you? Never. Never. <laughs> so your first year of college for accounting now? Yeah. So now I'm in my second year, which is my last year of college. And do you and then... go up to university mm-hmm. after that, then? Yeah, yeah I'll be going to, hopefully going to college, um, uni in September. Got any unis scoped it? UWS, which is, I think I will go to. I got an unconditional for Sterling, but I don't think I'll go there. That's poor. It's a wonderful place for you. I'm not, I, it's only first year though, so what'd be the point? Like UWS is third year, so we can make point. Yeah. I don't know how all that shit looks. It's oh, yeah. it's some bullshit, yeah. by the way. You might do like two years, like some of my mates have well done like two years of college and then have to go to the first year of university. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like some BS. Do I think you're going back? Yeah, it's like, like? yeah, it's pretty much going back a year, so that's why I'm as well going to third year. So I'm oh, not right, okay. going forward instead of back. So if I went to Sterling, I'd basically be going back a year. Which right, plus, you don't need to move Gaff if you stay at the... Oh, well, well, well cause this is student accommodation for, that, like, specific college, like, for City of Ah, uh, right, okay. I want to get, like, an actual flat the, like, the coming year, though, because I'm, like, I'm over student accommodation. I've done it for two years, so... Oh, have you done both years at student accommodation? Yeah. That's a brave move. Did know. you know Did you know anyone both the years that you went into, or were you giving new people for each time? Um, yeah, it's different people in both flats, but in first year, I knew one of the boys that I was going to be living with. No, oh, that's good. At least you knew so that was fine. Yeah, and then this year, it's completely new people, but we all get on and stuff, so it's fine. How many accounts do you stay with now? Um, it's a six-bed flat, but just now there's only three of us. Is that because you're locked in? Yeah, it's locked in. Does yours also look like a prison, like the one I used to stay in, or is actually quite nice and well-maintained? No, mine's quite nice, actually. It's like all en suites and that. That's and, like, nice. In my, in my old flat, like, we had a cleaner, like, for our rooms. We've got a cleaner in this one, which is just for the kitchen. So, yeah. yeah, it's quite good. What the well, fuck? Seems like a premier in your cunt. <laughs> <laughs> the one we, the one we, the one that I used to live in in Stirling, and if you're from Fort Valley College and listen to us, please turn off now. Um, but my uh, the ceilings basically used to be made out of paper mache. So my mate, every time he was round and he got drunk, he used to shove his thumb through the ceiling 
bear in mind, there's another there's another flat that was above us as well. He was oh, just yeah. shoving his thumb through the ceiling every time. <laughs> what the fuck? It was high maintenance that place. <laughs> Welcome to Stellan. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Come through. <laughs> Wait, was that uni or college? College. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah, I need to get my head around this. So, wait, if you came to Stirling's uni, you would need to do four years at uni here. Yeah, because it's first year. Yeah. But if you go to Glasgow, you do two. Yeah, because I've because I've done two years in college already. That's nuts. It's the prestige of coming to Stirling. You see, uh, that's why. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to go have a word with my mom after this. What the fuck you know about you? I can get a fucking. Does she work there? I'm a mom at uni. I. Mm. Oh, I see. Deals with their finance. Never gave me a bonus. Shocking. No. No, shocking. Did you even work there? What? Do you mean, what do you mean a What do you mean a bonus? I want like extra sass. Oh, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She doesn't do with the sass. That's the one. Nah, she nah, that's the only reason why then, isn't it? Right. I think that's probably the only finance she doesn't do with. To be fair, but no. How much money does she rake in from the parking? Well, I mean, I want to know. It must be a million quid a year. It has to be. I don't know. I've never asked. I know. Uh, I know. That's one seriously stupid yeah. thing. Also, getting exclusive for the podcast next thing. Right, I, I'll ask her and I'll yeah. be like, right, how much is your part, mate? <laughs> what a question. <laughs> Listen, it's an exclusive. Aye. <laughs> uh, um, you know. Bye, uh, Rachel. If you don't mind me asking, not to be cheeky, but having Jamie sort of slagging off your credibility at doing maths, what was it that made you want to do accounting when you left school? Because, like, well, I've got wanted to do it for years. So at the start of high school, for the first few years, I actually loved maths, and I love like, like just like dealing with money and stuff, and like budgeting and that. So I just. Is this somebody, how does one person come to love that? Because it's just so like fun. It's just that I fucking fun. hate it. It's the that's worst so fucking odd, by the way, man. You are a wrong one. <laughs> How is n- numbers excite you? That is embarrassing. No, it's not. Like, oh, that's, I read that. Are you like, quite good then at budgeting and um, for stuff? Yeah. yeah, I would say I'm quite good at saving in that. So I just like I think it's fun, just like sorting out money problems and that. It just seems fun. <laughs> it's not that I want people to have problems so I can sort them out. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's just. That's right, you just work for a corporate. So what's your end goal then? What do you want to do after, you know? Be an accountant. Aye, very good, Jeff, Annie, but for what? Like for a big firm or for yeah, individual? Like, yeah, a big accounting firm or something, yeah. I don't know, but I think it'll, t- it'll take, like, years to, like... Aye, to build it it. I'll have to do more studying. Should, like go to, should go to Jersey. You'll make a fucking shit ton over there if you do that. That's so all everyone will like, I don't know if I want Ireland. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying, you know, if you're used to the island life already, then you go over there, you know, you're well sorted. That's a whole nine miles from one side to the other. You'll be even more used to it. What? That's even smaller. Yeah, but it's 40 miles to do, like, a full trip around it. So. Ah, it's closer to France, so it's warm. So you'd be happy. Yeah, actually, it is warm. So that's yeah, a warm actually, process. I think I'd prefer that. Is there shops in that? Yeah, because I feel like town in that. And there's actually, you know, bars and, you know, nightclubs and places. Also, not during COVID. She's like, why the fuck did he choose Razzie? Razzie is so behind, I don't understand. Like, we're, we're just not self sufficient. Yeah. What's the internet speed, Sally? Oh, uh, like, not yeah, great. I've got, like, good Wi Fi and stuff, but. They've got good Wi Fi, but they've not got a nightclub. <laughs> Yeah. Why would they? There's like six yeah. waves Fuck every off, year. that's it. The priority <laughs> is so wrong there. It's literally 90% old people. There's only 160 people. Oh, I get oh, them wait, 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 hold on. There's 160 people on the island. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, there's that's more people that live in like my blocks of flats around I here. Know. <laughs> yeah, when this place is full, there's probably about that as well. It's pretty good. That's no, I think fucking mad. People can stay here. So, yeah. My fat, more people. Fair enough. Right, talk to us about your first year at uni then. What was uh, what was good about it? Where did you go to get lettered? You mean college? College, same thing, fuck's sake. It was good. I loved it, like, come down, meet new people, and then we just go out all the time. And I'm obsessed with going out for dinner for some reason. Like, I think that's the other thing, because there's no food places. The closest McDonald's, like, two and a half hours away from home so like I just like went out for food all the time so, when you went like, in your first year yeah yeah first year of college yeah you must just have done well at the budget and then then exactly yeah, what's the worst I managed to like control it 
Because that's for me. Was all the time. Like, that I just worked constantly before I moved down, so I had like good savings and stuff. Uh, that's good. In my first year of uni, I couldn't afford to buy food for the last ten weeks because I was that poor. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh, I'd actually be terrified. Nah, I just I just paid the little money I had left to go to the pub because you know there's calories and pints, so you know you can. Yeah, use that. Priorities at the end of the day. Yeah, I know, and if you don't drink, you get drunk faster. So, I mean, yeah, if you, you don't eat. Yeah. Fuck's sake! This is what I mean with your English, man. <laughs> get that. In. So wait, did you see you what before you came out? Yeah, I've worked since I was 14. Like, I've had two jobs since I was 14. That's you've done all the jobs over the island from yeah, everyone else. Oh, 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 more jobs than me. I know. Oh, no, I it's quite normal to have to like start working when you're 14. Like, as just as a waitress and a housekeeper and stuff, just like part-time jobs and that. So you're done waitressing? Mm-hmm, yeah. And was that, what was your second job? Like, cleaning a holiday home. So oh, right, okay, I suppose makes sense. Yeah, just this big house. Were they both on Razzle then, or was yeah, they on Sky as well? Yeah, they're both does, on Does it get awkward then if you're waitressing and, like, obviously you'll fucking ken everyone on the island anyway, so you'll see the same faces over and over yeah. again? Oh, it's, yeah, it's quite awkward having people, you know, but then we have so many tourists, like, people from all around the world. Like, most of our customers are, like, tourists, <laughs> but it's quite awkward meeting, like, t- serving people, you know, and that. Somehow the terrorists know about this place, but me and Jamie have never heard of it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it a, I can imagine that. I chat shit about it, but it's like so such a nice place. It's just so boring. So back to like uni then, did you, what was, I don't know, what was the, because obviously I suppose you've grown up in a smaller area, what's like the weirdest thing you've seen in a night out? Mm, weirdest thing I've seen in a night out. I don't know, I feel like the weirdest thing on a night out would be me. And it'd be something I don't even remember doing. Oh, I can't even think what the weirdest thing would be. Um... I could tell you many. <laughs> and they all involve Bradley. <laughs> no, I'm, you... like, I'm literally a bigger mess than Bradley and he would even admit that. Like, I'm always the one that just can't remember anything from a night out because I was that bad. What, do you black out quite a lot? Oh yeah, everything. Well, I seen the. I remember for Bradley's birthday, years. I don't know how many years were, and it was like there was like three Snapchats or something. It was like Bradley drinking, Bradley heading somewhere, and then next thing it was Bradley's he did the toilet. Oh, and then... yeah. that night I wasn't even I wasn't even that bad at all. But yeah, he literally can't hack it. We're playing this game that just like a really heavy drinking game and he just can't hack it so that was his issue he he's was, never been able to hack it he was literally been sick for hours that's so I funny did, i did feel quite bad to be honest nah, i'm so glad you had to deal with it it's been well, me for far too long <laughs> ah, it's been me for far too long yeah, no, so it's happy. Like it, it is my turn to like start looking after people because i was always the one like being looked after i'm always the one like rolling around the floor in the club because i can't stand up yeah like but, what, then uh, it has I'm to not be. even a lightweight. Like I can drink for like a while. No, I can drink for a while, but see when I'm like drunk, it's just like that, and I, I can barely even speak. I can barely even walk. Like it's so bad. Just imagine you walking about slavering. <laughs> not got a clue what's yeah, going on. Like, I talk so much shit. Like one time Bradley was here, his I just had it in my head that his cousins were here, and I was like, "Can Finlay and Holly not smell the shampoo?" Like <laughs> what I'm talking about? Like. <laughs> I don't even make a word of sense when I'm drunk. But um, what what was the go to club then that you went to? Oh, like Bamboo and Kokomo. They're like right next to each other, so if you got like kicked out of one, you would just try to get into the other. <laughs> like but the bouncers like, don't see you get kicked out of that one. Go probably should. Ah, no, they don't. Like oh, sometimes that did happen. They thought, oh, I've just kicked her out of there. Like, don't. The, I think my my. Every time somebody asks me going on a out in Glasgow, my, my reputation is just tarnished by the fact that Garage existed. It is so bad. Uh, I've never been there, so... Garage, don't, because it, it will ruin your whole appetite, man. It is the most horrible place. <laughs> I swear to God, but it was uh, Kevin who I used to work with, it was his night out, and it was like, fucking, we were all lined up, and his mate got, his mate got rejected for absolutely no reason, by the way, but because he wasn't, he was barely even, like, he was barely even drunk, but basically we walked up 
the guy what well, the guy got me and he was like, man. And I was like, what, what, what's going on here? Fuck, he picks you up against the wall and then he's like, ah, spread. And I'm like, the fuck? So he's, and he's opening the wallet and that and he's going through it and he's like, keys. I'm like, that's my fucking keys. And I'm like, what you? And he's fucking grabbing on everything. And I'm like, here, whoa, what's going on here? I was like, I'll leave if this is a. He was like, that's you done. Up you go. I'm like, the fuck? And I wouldn't get it. And the lashes get the, like, the same treatment. It's not as bad, obviously, but I was like, fucking hell. I don't that's, know. This place is horrid. That's something I'd say about what is weird is like the difference with how boys get treated compared to girls, depending on the bouncer. Oh, like, like my cop was grappled. Well, no grappled, but it was like groped a many a time that, that one fucking session. I was like, right, mm-hmm. that, that's not even by the bouncer, so it was by Bradley that time. <laughs> and I'm kind of, I'm just kind of going to Disney get a. Uh, you know, I'm no, I didn't get embarrassed too much, and I'm like, I'm quite easy going, chilled, and then yeah, even no, I was we like, no, you're not, Jamie. After my 18th, <laughs> I, I was like, hey, what the fuck are you doing here? I was getting a bit pissed off at. Yeah, I'm not even that surprised. Like boys are always getting completely searched, and then girls are getting nothing. I mean, it's because you can get away with it. <laughs> I suppose a lot yeah. easier, especially if your bouncers are all men. There's no fucking way you get away with treating the same way to a lassie. Yeah. Yeah, definitely not. So I would say that's probably one of the weird things is how like strict they are with the boys compared to the girls. Oh, girls no, use... I, I think it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, yeah I guess it kind of does, but it's strange. Lassies can hide so much more so easily. Mm-hmm. But obviously you can't just fucking... That's why you get female them. bouncers to get away with them. But I feel I like don't. female bouncers are stricter on girls because I feel like they must know what girls are like <laughs> and all the tricks and that. Yeah. Aye. They were in one sea on themselves. There was it oh, all at Kev that see the that that night as well. Uh, Lassie, Kevin knew. Um, she smuggled in like all sorts of uh, classes. We'll just call it classes, right? You're, you're careful about your Aye, words, and then you decided it fuck it. <laughs> Aye, cl- classes, right? Um, under our tits. That was <laughs> that was a. Uh, Better be careful you don't sweat and it fucking goes into your bloodstream at that point. <laughs> I know, so it was obviously, it was in bags and stuff, but she had it under her tits. She got up the stairs, into the toilet, took everything out, put it in her handbag, and then she dished it out, and I was like, the fuck? I've done that with drink, but... <laughs> I was like, you better be careful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, can I ask her what? <laughs> what the fuck? I've done that with, I've done that with drink. Yeah, I've done it with drink, though. So. so what is the worst state that you've been in a night out? Since uni, since, like, since she's gone oh, to uni. There's been, there's been a couple where one of them, um, people from my work at home had come down to visit. So there was like loads of us going out. And my manager had bought like over 60 shots for like six or seven of us. And like every time he would buy like a round of shots, it would, he would have like vodka and that as well. So we we're drinking so much, went to like pubs before and that. And I don't even know where it went wrong. I don't remember a thing. But I was meant to be going home because I had college a college assessment the next day. So apparently I leave the club and I'm lying in the middle of the road where cars are coming. And one of my friends who's like tiny, she would try to pick me up, but she couldn't because she's like half the size of me. So she gets help picking me up. And then I just like run into this chippy, don't remember it at all. And then end up back at hers and she shared a bathroom with all her flatmates. And then apparently I just spewed all over her bathroom. And then I was meant to go through to her room to go to sleep. And I just walked like out the building, got locked out. So I was trying to like phone her and stuff. She'd fallen asleep. So I started like repeatedly phoning my big sister. And then she wasn't replying because it was like five in the morning. So she finally replied. And then I was like, oh, I can see the police and that. I'm going to go ask them for a lift. Don't even remember saying all this, but she's like, no, don't do that, but I go and do it anyway. But now I think about it, I don't actually think it was the police, I think it was a security guard. So I go, apparently I go up and ask them for a lift, and I don't get a lift. So she books me a taxi, but I don't know that she's booked me a taxi, I thought it was an Uber. So I'm literally two minutes away from mine, and I don't know how I realised, I was like, this isn't an Uber, this hasn't been paid for, this is a taxi, I had no money, like... I opened my purse, I had like £1.60 or something, so I just took it out and I gave it to him, so he starts screaming at me, so I'm starting to remember things by now, it's been a while since I've had a drink, he starts screaming at me like, give me your phone, give me your phone, I'm like, no, no, I'll go up to my room, I'll get my card, and he's like, give me your phone, give me your phone, and he locked me in a taxi, so obviously gave him my phone because I've shot myself, and then... (laughs) 
I like ran up to my flat and for some reason I'd lost everything, all my money, all my card, I couldn't find it. So I ran downstairs to oh, no. reception and I was like, do you have money in that? I was like nearly crying. I was like, this taxi driver stole my phone. Do you have money? And she's like, I've not got any change. I was like, okay. So I went back up to my flat and you know in like American films, it's the last day of school and they're like throwing all their like paper and stuff. Right, yeah. Like all over the floor. That is literally what my room was like, trying to look for money in that. So I go back downstairs and the taxi driver's just left, like with my phone. Nice. So this is probably like six in the morning by this point. And then for some reason, I go back up to my room and I'm like, no, my phone's in here. Like I know it's in here. So I start messing up the room again. And then I wake up. I still go to sleep. I wake up. My phone's not there. Missed my college assessment. Um, phone the police in the morning trying to get my phone back and let off my flatmate's phone and then my sister randomly phones him and is like I've got your phone and the taxi driver had charged her £40 to get my phone back because she'd been phoning my phone and he was the one So how much was the taxi actually cost? Not a clue but definitely wasn't 160 because it was like a 20 minute drive Well I gathered it was near 160 (laughs) but it was whether it was 40 quid or not I'm joking (laughs) Oh no, I think it was forty pound that he charged her because he had to go to her house and drop it off. Oh, right. does she stay in? Does she stay in Glasgow? Yeah, she stays that twenty minute drive, so it probably wasn't as expensive as he made it. But no, I was honestly steaming. Like I don't remember a thing apart from what most people have told me. That does was, sound like a fucking nightmare to me. Like that's one yeah. of the worst that I've ever heard. To be fair, so like I would, I could, that's not even my worst. I, there's my worst. I probably couldn't. <laughs> it's even. not even your worst. No, like, I can't even explain what I'm like. Like, it's just a thing you have to see, kind of. But then no one can ever get through to me because I just, I'm like, I just can't speak. I just can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I kind of look forward to it now. Yeah, I just cannot communicate at all when I'm drunk. But, like, to be fair, like, you'll never be bored if you're on a night out with me. No, and I always, wasn't. I always, uh... People, like I, like, I always get really angry when people try to help me when I'm steaming. Like, so I always just, I'm like running away from people. And, like, oh, oh, no, no, another one. <laughs> no, another one. I've, I've dealt with that enough for James Lightford. I can't be asked to do it. Yeah, yeah I, but you've got, got no chance of, you. you've got no chance of trying to stop James Lightford, though he fucking, he'd be able to throw you off easy. Aye, no, it'd kill me, aye, but the difference is if I'm fucking trying to help her and she's screaming and the folk will just think I'm being stuff and it's like, Oh no, I'm not like wouldn't be that bad, but I would just be like telling you to fuck off and stuff. Like, I can, I'll get yeah. I always think I'm more okay than I am. Oh, I no, think that's uh, a, Brad, that's put it this way, Bradley will be there anyway, so he can deal with you. Oh yeah, Bradley. <laughs> and Bradley, two hours prior, will be throwing up in the toilet somewhere that yeah. we won't be able to help. <laughs> I know Actual all the times we've been drunk though, it's always like one or the other. That's good. Keep at least keep one it, of that, keep it that way. Yeah, on my birthday, like, he woke up randomly during the night and I'd, like, spewed all down my face and in my hair. Oh, my fucking God. (laughs) (laughs) That is amazing, man. (laughs) Lucky you never died. I know, that is quite terrifying, though, because I was asleep when I'd done it, obviously. And I was lying on my back. Who can be sick when you're sleeping, but if you're lying on your back, that's scary, by the way. dangerous, yeah. That is the scary stuff. I, I barely even remember it at all. Oh, imagine Bradley waking up and seeing that man. I'd be like, I'm away, <laughs> up the road. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, I know. Just pretend that you went home that night and just, uh, like, uh, <laughs> oh, no, I left. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> it, because I was gone, mate. I left about three hours before you got uh, back. I've not got a clue. Like... What happened? Spew dead your dirty bastard. Uh, I, was, I was away, I was away. <laughs> no, imagine he actually could do that, though. Uh, <laughs> so. Uh, you clearly enjoy a night out then. So how's the last year been for you then with lockdown and all the new rules with COVID and that? Just pretty boring. But like when it was lockdown was eased and stuff, I kept up my drunk reputation. I made sure to do that. But now, yeah, back to being bored. <coughs> but now there's like more good news with like Scotland easing the rules and that. So Yeah. So I think, cool. To be fair, you started going up with Bradley during the lockdown though. Yeah. So, and maybe it's just a lockdown relationship. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> he's a been, that is a joke. He's been actually all the time. Yeah. Travel to Scotland, all sorts, man. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. we done like the Seven Hills Edinburgh like two weeks ago. We'd walked uh, for 10 hours. 
Yeah, I don't think I've walked ten hours of commuter way in my life, by the way. <laughs> like I'm leaving I'm leaving shitting you, by the way. Like if you like, I mean, if you thought I was big shit like before lockdown, I've sat in my asshole lockdown. <laughs> like I am a big guy now. And yeah, I like I'm, it, but it's fucking I've been quite active during lockdown compared to like what some people have, I feel like. Well, like me, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, it's it was, so you were starting to get like quite fit. You're going to the gym nearly daily just before lockdown, you know, you're eating well. <laughs> Aye, but then lockdown hit and you just can't be yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, it's a lot I'll, harder at that point to keep get up. Back to, I'll get back to the fit boss soon enough and, you know what I mean, <laughs> happy days. Yeah, no, we'll be light on our feet. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> I'm still... I, I played football literally on Monday, by the way, and I've still got like, a swollen foot from playing then. To be fair, though, you've been walking all sorts recently as well, though, so I thought that would have... Would have uh, I'm averaging about 50 miles a week at the moment. What? Yeah, exactly. Oh Honestly, 50 miles. That, to that me, is... that's just like glass going back twice, and that's no for me. Yeah. Like, that's, that's silly cool. behaviour. No, you would never just, catch like... me doing that. <laughs> no, but, well... For me especially because I'm one of the few folk now left unemployed out of my friends group. It's one of those things of just like, well, during the day, I know all my mates are going to be working. So, you know, during the day, you know, go out for anywhere for five to ten miles, you know, oh put a podcast God. on and then, you know, it'll fly by. If they're not going uphill and it's no too hot. <laughs> well, I suppose. I suppose when you put it like that, I, I remember when lockdown happened and I wasn't working for home. It was like proper dead boring. Yeah. Yeah, there's only so much PlayStation you could play. And uh, I was like, you know what? Even uh, for you, that's shocking. I don't know. At least you've got it, though. It's better than nothing. Yeah, true. Aye. But it was dead boring towards the, the, the mid to end of the first lockdown. Could you, imagine if, like, the from from. <clears throat> could you imagine if this had happened, though, like... In the late late nineties or early two thousands, so when like internet wasn't a thing, and just I don't think it made much of a difference. Know. Do you yeah. not think it'd be a lot more boring? Nah, you would never, like but you would never have known anything different. No, no, I get that, but don't you yeah. think because you don't have those options and you'd still be more bored? No, nah, because you doesn't. would be doing the things you would be doing back then, and it's and it's normal. Like you could still go and play club. Eh? Those <laughs> days were outstanding. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. club, club was a shit. See, see if you used to be right now, there was a cut out there ready to play a game with me. I'd be out there right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, nay, two ways about it, I'd be out there. And no, I'll, gi- I'll give you a game at some point this week, how about that? <laughs> I, I'm game for that. And, like, there's just all sorts of... When I was a wee guy, man, just... You could make up all sorts today. Whereas... Yeah, that's a good point. Nowadays, I get it. Like, if the internet... Like, it's no seeing people. The lockdown wouldn't have been followed as strictly as it has been if... The internet and Zoom and fucking all that shit was a thing. Like, yeah, yeah. media is a massive part. Aye, of like it. back in the day, you were the defos went and seen mates, like, yeah. and dealt with the consequences. Yeah, so and I know you wouldn't be a thing of like fifty quid fines on the spot. Like, how would they do that? You've not got the you've not got the electronics for that, mate. Get up, yeah. <laughs> so, like, on the spot, fine, no That's chance. That's why JB would get battered by the police because they have no <laughs> dash cams in it at that point. I, I, no, I used to fucking, I used to have my my wee fucking key worker letter with me all the time on the first lockdown. No, nah, mate, leave me alone. I'm a key worker. Didn't even need it, and I was like, nah, mate, key worker. No, uh, you're on your way to work. I'm one of you. I'm one of you. Wait, hold on. You're on your way to work. Nine o'clock at night. You're away at the shop. <laughs> I mate. Better believe it. <laughs> a, Those phones did they stack them shells. Exactly, mate. <laughs> We're getting a massive delivery. You better believe it. It's actually stupid. I used to use that letter all the time. Fuck's sake. Yeah. Then it got boring, so I started sitting in the house, and mm. here we are, still sat in the house. So, have you got any plans then, right? So, for when lockdown for, eases up even more, sort of around the end of April time, is there anything plans for the rest of the year? Um, probably go home for a bit, for a very small bit. Um, <laughs> like go out and stuff, like see more of my friends. There's loads of my friends down here that I haven't seen at all since being back down this year. Um, obviously trying to trying to the food bar. Oh yeah, food bar. Obviously. <laughs> Don't listen to him. It's a shithole. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Experience it once. 
Yeah, no, you need to and experience Jamie events. Jamie won't come to Glasgow. That's no, fair. it's not. It's not a win. It's just. That's a trick. The guy, no, the guy has done me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The whole, <laughs> whole place, no, but the whole place is tarnished by the fact Garage even exists. It's horrid, man. Oh my god. I've been to, what's that about? But I've been to, is it Bamboo, isn't it? Yeah, Bamboo. Been there. It was all right. Yeah. Oh, it's all right. It was Does no it nothing compared to the food bar, Jamie? Is that what you're saying? No, the food bar's just tradition, isn't it? It's easy. You go there, you get leathered, you come out, you get your kebab, you go back in, you get leathered. And it's, it's dynamite, do you know what I mean? It's a routine. Tell me, the fair bar is one of the... You underrate the fair bars night, by the way. Tell me that for a fact. It's just because it's so expensive yeah, for what it is. <sighs> yeah, loads of clubs are... Bear in mind, you feel like the first full year. Mm-hmm. By the way, Rachel, you look like you've went black and white in the last two minutes. What? Oh, oh yeah, I kind of do. That's fucking mental. Um, oh, yeah, in the fo- like, bear in mind, for like the first full year and a bit of me going to the football game, I never, ever used to drink. That's what I find more crazy, the fact that you'd go there, though. Oh, mate, that, that tells you the story, mate. The place is bouncing with it being drunk. Uh, oh, so you used to go out sober? I, I, used, to, I used to never drink. I used to drive drive it and then drive back. Oh, my God, fair enough. Yeah. The part, nah, I, can, I am I the party. I can, like, I, can, I can enjoy, like, going to, like, a pub with my mates and not drink. I can handle that. I can no fucking go to a club without yeah. at least a bit of a drink in me. Ah, uh, see. But it's a difference between personalities. I bring the party. I am the party. Uh, of course you do. I'm of fucking. course you do. <laughs> the party. I think drunk people are so annoying. So if you're like just as drunk, then it's fine. <laughs> well, no, do you mean sober. if you're all sober? No, like, yeah, if I was sober, I would just think they were so annoying. Like most people. Like, people are, you're either so annoying or you're, like, absolutely hilarious. I feel like nah, I was already, I was quite boish with the cunts I was with because they weren't annoying. Yeah, like, I think it's fine if it's your mates, but I think other people can be annoying as fuck yeah, if they're drunk. Yeah, there would be so annoying. Makes it easier to deal with situations, I feel, though, if you're sober. Well, I see it with things with a clear head. Ah, yeah. but I mean, there's been many times where James Lightford so almost got us pretty much killed and I managed to defuse the situation. So... <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, he, he does enjoy winding folk up. Ah, he's just a fucking fanny sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, Why did you end up drinking then? What? Why did you just end up drinking one night then? Uh, well, do you want to explain why you stopped drinking that <laughs> first uh, night? <laughs> no, nah, not really. <laughs> I think I'll explain that since you've been taking the piss out of all this time. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, nah, yeah. so for my 18th, you know, well, me and Jamie never, um, never used to go out to the pub prior, um, when we were underage because we are good, sensible men that we never do that. So when I was 18, I went to the pub for the first time, um, and uh, the Think 25 rule came out uh, pretty much the month before I turned 18. Mm-hmm. So, um, we basically all got caught out, we had nowhere to go, so oh. went back to my mum's. Jamie joined, wasn't a massive drinker anyway at that point, got absolutely leathered. Uh, Jamie's house from my mum's house is about mm, 20 minute walk if you're fast, maybe half an hour pushing it. Took us two and a half hours to get this cunt home. <laughs> what were you doing? Fawn over at everything. Being <laughs> just, it was in the worst state I've seen many, <laughs> I've seen a human in. It was falling down hills, like there's like grassy hills all up there, so it just kept falling down there. Um, he, kept having to go, he kept having to stop to like go for a piss every like five minutes so it was unbearable he was that the tap was un- away by the way like, it had a leak <laughs> like the, the, the tap had burst and then you know he was, he was complimenting certain people you know on their physique shall we say when he got to a certain point I, I don't know if I would say it was a physique it was a cock so let's be specific <laughs> I mean I was trying to dance around him if you want to go for listen, it listen if there's a good cock I'm telling you you've got a good cock it's as simple as that I'm not beating around the bush literally I'm just so saying then, <laughs> so then he was going on about that for the rest of the night and um, yeah and then I don't think I seen Jamie drink again for another year and a half, like you said. Oh, I just I feel like there was no need for it. I was like, I've done my bit. I've, 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 I've uh, can, paid I'm my sure, juice. I'm sure we've asked this at some point, but like, see when you eventually managed to stumble home, did you spew everywhere or were you? No, nah, that was it? that was a mes- mesmerizing. I was in this that whole night. <laughs> Next morning, I fucking felt it, but I was I spewed twice. Um, 
um, the late the next morning. But the feeling that I had a perfect night's sleep it was amazing. Woke up, couldn't be eleven. No. That, that night, night so good, that night easily in like the top five worst states I've seen people in <laughs> before was you that night. It was a good laugh, but. Oh yeah, no, it was, well, no, it was a great laugh at the party, it was a great laugh for about the first hour walking home, but by the end I was fucking fed up to shit with it. Did you have to walk back from his house? Yeah. Oh my god. And, no, but the worst part as well, right, our other mate that decided to come with us was almost as drunk as he was, <laughs> so, was so all Lewis? like, Lewis was, like, me, it's a bad fucking situation if me and Struan are the sober one, well, not sober, but the most sober ones there. Ah, Sam was it as well, was it? No, he fucked off. He can be arsed helping you. <laughs> he walked about 10 He's minutes. He's been a prick. I thought he, he was hating that gun. He walked literally 10 minutes with you and I was like, nah, I've had enough of him. <laughs> I thought he was hating that gun anyway. Um, but yeah, no. Nah, and then, like, Lewis as well fell over near years and fucking there was a cat walking. Not even, there was like broken glass on the road and there was like, a cat walking around it, not oh, stepping in it, obviously, because it's no a fucking fud, but Lewis like, the cat's going to get its paws, yeah. paws all fucked up. So he was just picking up the glass with his hands again, like cuts and like glass. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> and he's just like walking home with blood dripping down his hands, like, oh, it's a fucking nightmare. But that yeah, a good, a good 18th, a memorable one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Actually, I never even had an 18th. Yeah, because yours is like a month later and you're still recovering, probably. <laughs> exactly. exactly. I, 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 I didn't have a 21st either. Best, best idea. Was best that lockdown thing. on your 21st? What? Was it lockdown on your 21st? No. 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 Uh, how old am I? 22nd. You're 22, aren't you? Yeah, you're 22. Aye. I don't know. Aye, 23 in June. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Mm. Uh, what old cunt's <laughs> My 21st was 2019. Yeah. So, aye. Oh. That's only 17 then. Yeah, thanks for making us feel good. Aye, 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 <laughs> Enough of that. Stroke that batter. My aye, 18th it was um, good. What's that? My 18th was just before lockdown, like the month before. See, at least then you've not missed out on any sort of big party. I know you've missed out on obviously like a year of going out, which is shit, yeah. but you know, you've not missed out on your 18th and you didn't miss out on your twi- and you won't miss out on your 21st. So, I mean, those yeah. are like the big ones. That's yeah. a good point. Exactly. You'll be able to get rattled <laughs> for your 21st in the FUBA. Best, best of you. Oh, of course, that is where I'll be spending it, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to think so. <laughs> If you're not been persuaded by Jamie Stone, no, I mean, I, I don't know if Bradley is telling you, but Bradley even backs a football. He knows that's a cracker at a place. That card wouldn't remember anything, he'll back anything. <laughs> no, he does back it, he loves it. I think it's the hospitality he gets when he gets to my house, to be fair, but he backs it. <laughs> <laughs> For the bacon rolls in the morning, do it. <laughs> no, I mean, that cunt can eat in the morning, man. I remember when he came, one, one night he came in the next morning and I was sat in the PlayStation with Dylan because I was like, I was fine, I'd recovered fine, and I was just sat there, and they came, and I was like, all right, and he goes, <sighs> and I was like, what in it, and he goes, this toothpaste says they want them, and I goes, what? and he goes, it's not working, so he hands me it, and I squeeze it, and the toothpaste goes, he walks back in, and I'm like, what the fuck? He didn't have the strength to climb I, And then he walks back in, and tells me about all his stuff that he sent into the group chat the night before, and his family group chat, and I was oh, like, yeah. So I, that was a bad occasion, but no, nah, he, he doesn't eat in the morning. I remember we took him to KFC that day as well, uh, like that afternoon. It was me, him and Duncan, we went to KFC and he literally, he was almost sick at the smell. He was like, nah. Yeah, he was talking about that the other day, actually. He was like, I can't be here. And I was like, how, it's not that bad. He was like, I can't do it. KFC is his last strong smell, though, so if you've been drinking it before, it could affect you probably quite bad. I suppose, but... um. But no, good good times in that. Good times. I always feel like I can eat, and then I have like one bite, and now I'm like, no, I feel sick. Yeah, no, I can't eat either. If I've been drinking, it feels. I don't know. It's probably just because I'm mostly drinking beer, so I'll be fucking filling oh. myself up on that. I know, night. which is horrible to begin with, by the way. No, I mean, like, if I'm in a club, I'll have spirits. But I mean, if I'm a good bar, I'll typically have a beer or something. <sighs> it's embarrassing. No. Yes, I'm so unclassy. I actually just have vodka everywhere. Like, I just don't like enough drinks. Really? Vodka. Only uh, vodka um, you'll drink? Yeah, in Echo Falls, like, and obviously you don't Oh, the, the standard, <laughs> the uni <laughs> student drink uh, right there. <laughs> the fucking juice. I've, I, to be fair, though, I drink one 
one thing everywhere I go as well. I always have rum, pretty much, wherever I go. Well, I suppose I have Jack Daniels, which is which is near rum, but I have that back and forth, but typically rum wherever I go. Yeah, it's best to keep the same thing else you fucked. Well, true. My, my, fa- when I'm next my favourite thing during lockdown when the Zoom calls and everything's been going on is to go behind the bar and make a new concoction every single time. Just create, just throw everything into it. Yeah, that's and most, most of the time it comes out well. So normally, you know, you have like juice in it to mix it with it and you have like, you know, uh, blue carrot so you can add some like gin, rum, vodka, you know, just throw it all in. I can't wait till the 5th of April, by the way, when we made the podcast. <laughs> We're going to be absolutely ruined, by the way. <laughs> but you, you be, I don't know if he'll be able to get uploaded. <laughs> exactly. Fuck's sake. For the, the first like lockdown news. Uh, well, technically, the first one happened on Monday there, where you can see more folk outside. But the fifth is when um, you can go into other people's. Well, you can, one person can go into another house. Oh right! Yeah. Did you used to do a podcast in the same house? Yeah, um, we've always sort of done them at my flat. So at um, my mum's, we used to have a, a studio there for a wee bit, but um, it's just easier doing it in the own flat. Uh, yeah. It's both had three, both had three, both had two of his flats and then one at his mom's. Yeah, this will be the we've got a new we've got a new setup for the, for when we come back. So I'm excited mm-hmm. to finally show that off. Yeah. And didn't you used to do it without the camera as well? Like it was just like. Oh, they're, they're <laughs> to to let you and the viewers behind the curtain a wee bit. Um, I have had many a nights of frustration trying to get the cameras to work with the uh, audio. I used to get a message every fucking four hours, man, saying I fucking hate this camera and stuff, and I was like, I was, I'm like, so glad you did everything. I just come here to talk. <laughs> I know that's what I get for being the mediation. Right, well, that's what you get. That's what you get for being a prick. So. As well as well, thanks, then. <laughs> nah, you, get, you get it. That's what you get for being fucking associated with Aberdeen in any way, shape, or form. I mean, Bye. not really anymore, certainly. Aye, right. best way though. But right, that's uh, that was the situation. So, new setup on the 5th of April, we're going to be ruined. Mm, yeah, we're, we're having a celebratory get back together drink, which will be nice. It's that's been a while. A good idea. I know. So wait for everything to be like back to normal and that. Mm. What are you most excited about opening up again? Going out. Just, yeah. yeah. Actual going out, out or just a restaurant? Like anything. Like just like seeing my friends and stuff. Yeah, just meeting cunts. Mm-hmm. So that's the wee things I miss, man. It's just being able to see cunts without worrying about a fucking fine. Yeah. Are, you, are you like good mates then with the folk you stay with? Like, do you hang out with them a lot or yeah. not? Yeah. Yeah, we all get that on helps then. Yeah, definitely. We all get on so well, so it's that's good. We could do stuff together, like drinking in the flat and that. But I just can't wait until I can go out with my other friends that I've not seen in ages, and like Bradley can meet my friends in that. Mm, I'll see worried. Nah, don't think so. I'd have it vice versa. I'd be worried to meet the cunt. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm like, I'd, I, if I were you, I'd be worried to <laughs> fuck up and displaying that cunt, man. They'll be fine. He'll be fine. Aesthetically, it's all right, but the workings is. <laughs> ah, aesthetically, it's all right, but the workings. Oh, is just the workings. Horrid. The workings. He just doesn't. He's no. He's no. He's no screwed up the right way. It's just something that's wrong, man. He kind of is. He's a. He's a bastard as well. Now, by the way, before we go into anything else, whether it's the game or whether it's whatever, right? You are getting called out for the game, by the way. I'm just going to let you into that before anything happens. You're getting death was called out. What Liam, is that what you were going to go into? Uh, well, no, I was going to bring up something first. So normally at this point, we would bring up Liam, Jamie and the guests do the news. However, um, I'm not going to lie, the website that I use for this segment is fucking dire today and yesterday. I tried <laughs> looking up some... Because, you know, no one likes fucking, you know, our oh, COVID's killed this many fucking people. You know, you want some lighthearted news. But the genuine top headline on this, which, you know, it's done us some good stories in the past, is owner convinces they were given the wrong dog back after a visit to the groomers. Like, who cares? Your dog got a haircut. No one cares. You know, woman sparks fire, 
uh, fierce debate over colour of m and uh, Marks and Spencer's coat as people says it's grey. Like, what? again, who cares? That is, I <laughs> not, can't believe it's a news article. But like, normally there's something interesting, but this there's just nothing this interesting. Is what Liam went to, this is what Liam studied to go into. Like, oh, this. No, <laughs> I did not do journalism. Do not fucking compare me to this. He studied to be a cunt that goes and writes articles like that. Yeah, well, we wifey think said you it's grey. Pal thinks it's blue. Oh, yeah, I can't. <laughs> I would be... never. Uh, Jamie, if I ever end up writing something for like that on BuzzFeed, you have permission to fucking shoot me on site. <laughs> I don't want to do Fuck that. Fuck's sake, man. Imagine, imagine coming up with articles as bad as that. I know. Yeah. The dog one's well confusing. Like, did she think she's got the wrong dog or she's making a joke that it looks that different? No, she she got it caught and she just thought it looked so different it can't have been the same dog. Oh. Like, I know, I because if she went there and didn't they get didn't they get her own dog back, it would be quite. That would be a good story. I'd, be, I'd be willing to share that with the podcast. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that would be a good story. So unfortunately, we've been let down by the news this week. So and if there's nothing to add, I was thinking about going back to the game. But is there something you want to add before we finish it off? Anything I mean, more? I've got nothing to add. Any more slagging, Jamie? Well, they did want to bring one for up. Yeah. No, I mean I didn't, but not even that. I've barely slid you at all this episode, so you're. Yeah. I'd say you've been a lot off. You've done well. I give you that. No, exactly. For the, for the for the little amount I know about you, you've been slid an adequate amount. Yeah, right. He does normally go a lot harsher with people. Aye, like if you go look, listen to Bradley's win, like he got destroyed. If you listen to anyone after Bradley's been on, he still gets insulted by Jamie. Exactly. Oh my god, poor boy. I know, no, no Good boy, fuck off with that. You're actually you're obsessed with. Oh. I'm obsessed with him. Oh. I, I do I love him, I. I'll say it right here. Twenty twenty is one news right here breaking. Aye. Yeah, breaking news. Drama. Uh, I thought you were going to bring up about the game though prior to. Aye. What are you talking about? No, I just want everybody to know that you've had umpteen tries at this, so I expect nothing shy of fifty seconds and ten right. Anything else that you're absolutely embarrassing. For those though that don't know what's about to happen, Jamie, do you mind explaining the game, please? I don't know if I do. Uh, you can't that bad at it last week. I won you it, there again. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no. I'm not doing it anymore. I had my one and out. <laughs> hey, well, Rachel, you know what's going to happen anyway. What's basically going to happen is Liam's going to give you a letter. Now you get to keep that letter, and or you can re-roll that letter. But what you need to do with that letter is. Um, when Liam gives you 10 topics, at the start of each topic, say it's toiletries and your letter was T, you could just say toilet. Um, the idea of the game is it'll give you 10 topics, so ideally you get 10 right and as fast as possible. Now, if you get one wrong, or if you say something absolutely ridiculous, we'll pass it, which adds five seconds on your time. And if you're struggling, you can also pass it, which adds five seconds on your time. So don't DNF. Otherwise, I'm shutting the laptop down and there's got no, there's no outro with this. Not a DNF. Not a DNF. Like, if you do not fucking finish this, you're, I'm literally... Five wrong, it's a DNF. Aye, like, just don't be embarrassing. You've had too many tries at this. You will do get a second chance if, you know, it fucks up. But if you get a DNF the second time, that will be the first. Now, to put a bit of context on this, though, Bradley, your boyfriend, finished... Hold on, I need to look over this because he's that far down. Uh, he finished with 157 with eight correct. So he's the second slowest we've ever had on this. Oh, God. So, yeah, yeah. I, just that. I remember when. We if you watched... don't do better than that with the amount of times you've tried this, I swear to God, <laughs> I'll delete you and everything. Okay. Yeah. I remember uh, when we watched Dylan's, we thought that it was just any letter. So we were watching it like, why is he doing so shit? <laughs> <laughs> And then when Bradley done it, he was like, oh my God, it's so much harder than you think. Right, well. Rachel, your letter is B. Would you like to stick with B or do you want a re-roll? Yeah, I'll stick with that. Okay, then. Jamie, initial thoughts, good or bad decision? Nah, no, nah, she's a... Uh... I know, that's just good, though. Yeah. Uh, B is a good letter, I think. You know, B is a good letter. It's a high letter. time here. Right, Rachel, three... Two, one. Uh, things that are round. Cold. Things that are cold. Thin. 
TV shows? Ben 10. Cities. Berlin. Words associated with winter. <sighs> Major can pass it. Pit pass. Colours. Black. Crimes. Batted in a police officer. Celebrities. Blake Lively. Things that you replace. Beds. Ways to get from here to there. That was, that was a very fucking good time, to be fair, right? However... By the way. I'm, I'm disappointed though because Aye. for for the winter one things Baltic. are called Baltic exactly Aye. that's the one I'm thinking of as well literally Baltic no even that it's see when you go what's the colour and you go black I'm like why would you no say blue oh yeah <laughs> no, sure. and then after that I was like beige like I was thinking right. like why not blue but no to be, to be fair you done well it is still a very good time so Rachel <laughs> when I'm correct you got 56.1 seconds. So you're one minute and two seconds faster than Bradley. <laughs> and uh, you are, hold on, let me see. You are 10 seconds quicker than Jamie. So you can rub that in on. There we go. I'm proud of that. I would sm- I'd smoke you. Don't even Where start. am I on the, the like leaderboard thing? You want me to count? Uh, okay, one. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're okay. nowhere near the top. Oh, I we had something done it. You are oh, wait, hold oh, on. Yeah. Uh, something in the night, Liam. You're seventh. Oh, that's all right. Top ten. Can't argue with it. You know the, the best, best. The best one we've had on Zoom as well. Aye. Ooh. The person we were meant to have on and replace you the day when you turned us down was the one that's top of the leaderboard. All oh, right. Oh no, it's not. It's other Ewan. Wait, what Ewan is it that was meant to be? Ewan Boyle. We Ewan. Oh, thank fuck. You never came on. <laughs> <laughs> never mind him. Speaking, uh, speaking of a Ewan, though, before we end quickly, <laughs> we did say that next time we would be with Ewan or he's a bam. Ewan Reynolds. Oh, yeah, that's true. Um, it's fair, right? looks, yeah. like, looks like we've got an answer now. <laughs> Aye. No, but, I've been waiting on Ewan to come on for a month. Fuck it. It feels like years now. Uh, so Ian, just want you to know because I know you listen to this. So I just want you to know, yeah, you're a cunt, uh, and I'm leaving it there. Cunt. So. Fair play. Well, Rachel, thanks for coming on. I appreciate you coming on. Uh, but yeah, until next time, then I suppose I've been Liam White. I've been Jamie Allen. I've been Rachel McLennan. And we'll see you all next time. Goodbye. We're down the football and current events Sitting and chatting with the very best guest With two Scottish boys and we're loving death So if you like witty banter Check the former number one podcast on iTunes Sitting and chatting